Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm a leadership and executive coach, and welcome to this week's video blog post. So let's think about this for a second. Enabling others to act. Enabling others to act, which is the four, fourth of the five practices in Kusas and Parsons, the leadership challenge. And within, as we've been talking about the last several weeks, within each one of those practices are six behaviors. So we've been talking about enabling others to act. And so let's week, this week, let's talk about supporting the decisions that people make on their own. We talked about last week about accountability, right? That if you allow others to come up with the solutions, the answers to challenges they're facing, and you send them away with their own, the solutions that they've come up with, the answers they've come up with, there's that accountability. They were more likely to to succeed because it's theirs. The more will it, more likely to put the effort in to complete it because it's theirs. It's not a solution somebody's given them. So again, I often talk the, in the leadership about the two different leadership styles of command and control, which is the, the old paramilitary way of doing things. This is the way you'll do it. You do it this way, do it now, go for it versus the, what I call the commitment model, which is collaborative. It's getting everybody in, involved in the solution building, the decision making, and then completing whatever the action is or the task is. So it's, a, it's getting the team involved in it. And you're basically there as a coach, you're basically there as a mentor, you're somebody that's just helping them. And so, when they those people do make those decisions do get come up with their own solutions again i think the trick is allowing them to do it and you as you letting go of your solution and supporting what they're doing and then you know if it kind of goes a little wonky be there to support them with that they tried their solution and maybe maybe it was a bit wonky maybe it didn't work out this way but next time they can build on that, right? They can build on it. They can continue to build on it. So as a leader, you're there to support. And that's what enabling others to act is all about. It's fostering that collaborative spirit and being there in a supportive way. And so they take, their, they take their ideas and run with them. So, you know, eventually what you want is you don't, what you want is not them coming to your door knocking on them and saying, hey boss, we've got a problem, what should we do? It's, hey boss, here's the problem. This is what we're thinking of doing. Brilliant, that's what you actually want. So again, thanks for watching this week to my video and I hope you'll join me next week when we look at the final uh, behavior in the practice of enabling others to act.